this is Doug Auberg from Carlson Software. In this video I'm going to highlight a few new features contained in Carlson Survey 2018. There are about 200 new features altogether, so I'm just going to show you a few that I find particularly useful and that I enjoy using. The new RAMP special code is designed for multiple uses, but is particularly useful for locating handicap ramps that break through the curb line into a sidewalk or other paved area. They are usually labor intensive to locate in the field because you need to identify the entrance points of the ramp, the back of the ramp, and the two aprons or transition sections. When using the ramp special code, you survey it by carrying the curb line straight through and then locate one shot at the center of the ramp, identifying the width of the ramp, depth of the ramp and the width of the two transition pieces. The software then cuts the ramp into the curb, holding the curb line elevations as surveyed, thus eliminating the need to take all those additional shots. The enhanced 3D wall command allows much more flexibility to identify wall heights in the field, including left and right offsets, top or bottom of wall locations, and manually entered or field located wall heights. This along with the expanded 3D object library allows users to create true three-dimensional models straight from the field. Templates can be used for a variety of things in field to finish. Did you also know that a template can be modified on the fly in the field? For example, a vertical granite curb line may change from a half foot reveal to a full foot of reveal. If a standard vertical granite curb template is defined as being one half foot wide with one half foot reveal, you can modify it vertically by adding an offset parameter for just those locations that are atypical. In addition, the offsets used as part of your coding stay in place or stick until that offset is changed. For example, if the horizontal offset remains consistent and only the vertical offset changes, you need only enter the vertical offset amount. With release 2018, Field to Finish will now label those offset elevations automatically. The new Coordinate Cloud routine allows users to easily share data directly from their coordinate file. A secure Carlson account is created and once logged in, users may select any coordinate file and upload points into the cloud. They then have the ability to share them publicly or leave them as private. Images, tags, and other information may be attached to the points for identification. LotNet 2018 now allows multiple building footprints to be placed on lots while adhering to their setback requirements. External drawings may be selected and an order of priority designated. The program will then fit each lot with a building footprint in the order so designated. So that's just a few new features contained in Carlson Survey 2018. I hope that entices you to consider upgrading and I hope you continue to enjoy using our software.